Yeah. Yeah. I was being chased by that guy. No. I'm not gonna give up like this. Now that I've come this far, I won't give up. But the limbs were getting heavier and heavier. Is this how it ends? Need some help? Huh? At the brink of death, someone lent a hand. The air in the room felt thick and moist. When I came to my senses, I found that my hands were chained. Wait, where am I? Ah, Why are you all hot? <laughs> also, yeah, I, I'm definitely gonna need to like fiddle with the settings a bit. Like the the, the voices are a little soft. Ah, you're finally awake. I felt confused. I looked at the three men in front of me. Don't you remember what just happened? Yeah, I don't. I mean, I, I could use some help. What was that? Oh, never mind. Just enjoy yourself and go with the flow. Why did it turn out like this? Well, it's because of you. Otherwise, you'll die, I guess. Huh? Hold on. I tried to loosen the chains on my hands, but a black-haired man entered my vision, who was gripping the other end of the chain tightly. You'd better stop struggling. <laughs> I don't want to hurt my lovely prey. The black-haired man stroked my head as if calming a pet. Oh! Oh god! But the next moment, his lips pressed wildly against mine. Our tongues entwined and I could feel the warmth of his breath. Ah! Such a strong kiss. My mind goes blank. Every time I tried to hold back, he bit my lips. His saliva numbed my sanity like a sweet poison. Your expression is so seducing. Did you reach orgasm just by a kiss? I am sorry? At last he released my lips, but I was already dazed from his kiss. Only I can save you. Stay by my side and be a good girl. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> ah, 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 what are you doing there? Uh, hey, what are you looking at? I don't know, fam. There's three of you. Only then did I realize that my legs were being funneled by another man. You're... You didn't notice me till now? How frustrating. I mean, like I said, there's three of you. Like, how am I supposed to know who to focus on? Before I could react, he had already slipped his tongue into my most sensitive spot. This is definitely going on Patreon. Hi, cutie! What about me? I'll get rid of anything that makes you suffer. So please, just look at me. I can't! There's three of you! Like, I'm just gonna be going like, ha, ha, ha! Four months ago. Ugh. These boxes are so heavy. What's inside them? I carried one car box after another, heading to the second floor where the new office was located. I was supposed to be enjoying my vacation. Why did it turn out like this? Snazzy office. Nice. A week ago. What's with all the flashbacks? Like, literally, like, we started out in the woods. Okay, then we flash forward to the bedroom. Okay, I don't know whose bedroom it is. We flash back four months ago to like when we're moving things into a new office never flash back a week ago to when we're uh where are we i don't even know where we are but hey i guess i appreciate it i don't know that day was a payday so i rushed to the detective office with great excitement i've solved over 10 cases this month for my travel funds today's the day all my hard work pays off i can finally enjoy my vacation once i get my pay good morning boss hey. Hey, you're in a good mood today. Daddy, 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 daddy. Sure, uh, I've already booked my flight tickets. Uh, what do you mean, uh, uh? What do you mean, uh? Well, regarding that. What are you saying, Clark? Huh? Sorry, but it seems your vacation has to be postponed. Clark, no! Huh? Commission from a pre mysterious client? I took the commission letter given by Clark and the word confidential was written in the client section. The content was to investigate the strange events happened in Usador Town, but there were no further details other than that. Usador Town? Never heard of this place. That's an outlying town in the south. 
though it's far from the city, the quality of life is fairly high there. I see. So, work trip then? But isn't this just suspicious? We don't even know the client's name. The content's also very vague. Thing is, why should I postpone my vacation because of this suspicious commission? Ah, don't worry about that. The client is not that suspicious, actually. You sure about that? Cause like, the more you describe it, the more suspicious the client is starting to sound. Wait a minute. How much did the plan? How much did the client pay for the deposit? <laughs> well, well. I'm not that kind of person who only cares about money. <laughs> Speak. Not much. Just around seven digits. Seven digits. Clark tried to dodge from my sharp gaze. You didn't take the deposit, did you? What's the problem? We always take the deposit first. Oh no! I knew it, Clark! God damn it! And here I was, about to simp so hard for your dad bot! The time of the dad bot! Like, god damn, like, you could you could crush melons with those bias tabs. Holy frick! It's a generous amount, but we shouldn't accept commission from an anonymous like this. How are you supposed to complete the mission without any details? <laughs> Things will work out all right. E easy for you to say. I'm the one going out into the field, boss. Go out by yourself then. I'm not going to postpone my vacation because of this. I haven't taken a vacation in years. Please don't. Really? Really? You're, you're going to make that face at me? Clark, Clark, please. We can do better than this. Come on, Clark. I'm dealing with a lot of important commissions already. And it's just you and me in the office. You know that. Y yeah. So why could we hire an intern? We could send our interns out for the dangerous jobs. They need they need on-field experience, Clark. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. I don't actually condone sending interns out on dangerous uh, missions, okay? That's just my disclaimer there. You're the only one I can ask. Because you won't hire interns! <laughs> Clark made a pleading face with watery eyes, but I just wanted to punch him in the face. How about I quit now, so it's just you in the office? If you solve the case, I'll give you half the commission fee. Deal? Ooh, I mean, seven digits is seven digits. Ooh. Uh, you know what? You, you, you drive hard, bargain, Clark. I may have to think about it. I'm definitely taking this job. I definitely gonna take this job. I will not yield! 60. Hey, now you're speaking my language. Can we go a little higher? Just a little higher, Clark? Aye. Uh. Please, our detective ace. Hey. Oh, Puerto Rico, my eagle's not gonna help you to it. You know, it feels so good. Oh, Clark. Oh, yeah. Damn it. So I can take my vacation immediately after I solve the case. Right? Sure. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes then. I'll arrange an accommodation for you right away. Seven digits, yes! <gasps> it just so happens that I have a spacious apartment over there. And it's not in use for a long time. Should be enough to serve as a living place and temporary office. A temporary office? It's a briefcase. I can just stay in a hotel. Oh. <laughs> I forgot to tell you that uh, the commission period is four months. I mean, c can't I solve it faster? Four months? You can take other daily commissions while investigating and experience what it's like to be the president. Interesting, eh? The, <laughs> the pres president, the president of what? Time flies. Then I was already at the apartment of temporary office. What mysterious client? What experience? All oh, these are just excuses for this unwanted apartment. <laughs> hey, don't worry about the rent. Consider it as a gift from me. Are, are you sure this isn't just you trying to like push on like the cleaning like duties to me? God damn it, Clark. But if you earn a lot from the daily commissions. I don't mind you sharing the profits with me. Damn you! Worst boss ever on earth! If he weren't someone like a foster father to me, I'd have quit a long time ago. 
uh, look around and find all the furniture is new and has already installed in the apartment. It seems that someone has done the cleanup before I arrived. Did Clark arrange for this? I thought the apartment would be messy as the place he lives, and I have to clean it up myself. Alright, this place already looks comfy. It's really nice for a living place. It'd be perfect if I weren't here for work. Ah oh, well, things will work out. <coughs> cat! The cat meows out of nowhere, bringing me back to reality. I've been down and found a fur ball hiding under the cabinet. Duh! Where did this lovely fellow come from? I extended my arms under the table, tried to catch the orange kitten. It didn't resist. Instead, it relaxed in my arms and purred softly. Aww, how cute. Oh, this cutie pie's got a tag around its neck. Cat Paradise Coffee? Huh, this sounds familiar. Just then, hurried footsteps could be heard outside the door. Hi, cutie. What's up? Ryan, I found you finally. A man wearing an apron walked in. His silvery white hair stood out against the dark complexion. But what first caught my attention was the breathtaking, handsome face. The kitten immediately jumped down from my arms, ran to its owner, and rubbed against his feet. Oh, you naughty little kitty. <laughs> How'd you get up there? I, I mean, like, you know, I was here for work. I mean, oh, you're talking about a cat. Yeah, uh, yeah I, I have no idea how your um, cat got here. I noticed that a man's aprons had the same logo as the kitten's tag. Ah, it's the name of the cafe downstairs. Excuse me. You. When he finally looked into my eyes, he suddenly stopped talking for a few seconds. Uh, what's wrong? N no, it's nothing. Really? You sure it's nothing? He looked away in embarrassment, then turned his eyes on me again. Nice to meet you. I'm Dane Godiobi, your landlord. My landlord? Ah, so you're the landlord. Feel free to call me Dane. Nice to meet you too. I'm lying. I uh, work on the Clark Detective Agency. Yeah, I'll stay here for a few months and set up a temporary detective office. Hmm. I've heard about it from Mr. Clark himself. Oh? He often told me about you. Well, uh, I'm pretty sure he's got, you know, many glowing reviews about me. I mean, what did he say about my work ethics? Please, just butter up my ego some more. Ha! Ah, really? Hope he didn't say anything awkward. Why, he always says that you're his best student. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 I I am a great student. In fact, like, you can teach me plenty of things, Dane. I'm pretty sure we can get along pretty well, Dane. Is that so? But why would Clark tell you about me? You must know him very well, then. <laughs> We've known each other for a long time. We're old friends, I'd say. So please, make yourself at home. Just let me know if you need any help. I will take good care of you for Mr. Clark's sake. Dane gave me a soft smile, which made my heart flutter. Ah, it's really kind of you. Thank you. I'll try my best not to cause any trouble. I'm here for you too. We can support each other. You're as kind and lovely as ever. I am sorry? Oh, nothing. I'm just glad that you're moving in. I just live upstairs, and I'm running a pet cafe downstairs. Feel free to stop by any time. Really? Yeah, I'm a coffeeholic. I'll come every morning. <laughs> Do you want to come now? Yes! In more ways than one, really. But, you know, I'm... I mean, I, I could go for some coffee. Some hot coffee, if you may. I'd love to, but I've still got some packages to pick up. You mean these at the door? Huh? Wait, when did you get these? I just brought them up. How could a landlord let a girl carry such heavy stuff all by herself? Then I noticed that the boxes he was holding were also my belongings. I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. Leave it to me. Wait here, I'll bring him inside. I tried to stop him nervously, but he brought all the boxes inside without a word. <sighs> Done. Now you can come and have some coffee, right? Yeah, yeah sure. Whatever, Dane. Like, um, I'm all for it. He reached out his hand, and I had captivated by his dazzling smile again. Consider it a gift for finding this little one for me. Okay? Ah, oh, yes. All in a day's work for the ace detective. Ah, oh, yes. I can find any puss any <laughs> <laughs> I am I am absolutely terrible. Frick. It's hard to say no after he helped me so much. Ooh, snazzy little cafe. Nice. I followed Dane into the coffee shop. The interior design gave off a cozy vibe. It seemed that there were no customers at this time, and the cats and dogs were still napping. 
The air was infused with the rich aroma of coffee. Wow, this tastes so good. Dane, you're really talented. Really? I'm happy that you like it. I was afraid you wouldn't. Why, oh, it's the best coffee I've ever had. How come I've never heard of such a fantastic cafe? It seems I'm behind the times despite I claim myself being a coffee-holic. I can make it for you every day if you like it. Sure, I feel so blessed. Is there anyone else living in this building? I'd like to say hi. Nope. The floor you're living on is the only one that's rented out. Ah, uh, so I guess like you make most of your money off like uh, running the cafe then? I see. I thought there were other people living here. So, when are you going to open up your business? Yeah, well, maybe a week later. I need some time to adapt myself. Is there anything wrong? Are you feeling uneasy? Uh, I feel a bit uneasy. No, I'm good as you're around. Yeah, I'm good. I did feel a bit uneasy, but I'm much better now after having your coffee. Really? Is my coffee that magical? Oh, that's not the only thing magical about you, Dane. Oh, what's more, somehow I feel relaxed when you're around. Maybe it's because you're so friendly. I'll do my best. <laughs> Please, let me know if you need anything. Ugh. Speaking of which, Dane, can I ask you something? Hmm? I know it's a bit odd to ask like this, but... Is there anything strange happening at Usadar Town? Strange things? Yeah, like, are there any mysterious people going around or things happening recently? Hmm... I haven't heard of anything unusual happening recently. I see. It's good to hear. Sorry, it's my occupational habit. I just want to know more about the town. It's fine. It's good to be curious. Well, I'm curious about many things, Dane. <laughs> if I find anything strange, I'll let you know at once. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've noticed that since earlier. Uh, what's on the poster? Oh, it's a big festival we have here every year. Is that band the guest performer? Yes. They are quite famous as an indie band. Most of the members used to live here. They come back every year and perform for the festival. That's so cool. I love to watch a live performance. Are you interested? Yeah, they look cool. I used to listen to band music a lot. That's surprising. Huh? It's nothing. Ah, it's getting late. Are you going out? Yeah, I want to get some daily supplies and explore around town. All right. Stay safe. Wait a minute. Huh? Here's my phone number. Call me anytime if you need something. If possible, I'd like to be the first person you ask for. Dane looked a bit serious. You shouldn't trust others easily when you come to a new place, right? Huh. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm a stranger to you too. But as your landlord, I'll do my best to help you when you're in need. Yeah, thanks Dane. Really appreciate that. I didn't expect to meet such a friendly landlord on the first day. I guess this business trip isn't so bad after all. And the coffee made was so good. It'll help keep me energized for work every day. I hope we can get along in the future. She didn't deny that I was a stranger. So it seems she has indeed forgotten about me. I'm supposed to know, Dane! <sighs> You're interested in others already. I've got to pay more attention. I observed the surroundings while checking the navigation on my phone. The environment of this town is even better than what I've imagined. Not only does it have all the facilities, but it also got stunning scenery. The air is much fresher than the city. I can't believe I only just found out about this town now. It must be very comfortable to live if I really move here. By the way, why do I have a warm feeling in my chest since just now? Could it be the hot weather? Today's temperature is not that high. Lost in my thoughts, I didn't realize that there was someone else at the corner. Ah! <laughs> Hi, cutie! I bumped into someone coming out of the corner, and with a crash, both fell to the ground. A person's belongings were scattered all over the ground, so I immediately helped to pick them up. Sorry, I was thinking about something I didn't notice that someone was in front of me. <laughs> the man in front of me made an annoyed sound and slightly raised his head to look at me. This person has such a beautiful hair color. Also, his eyes are stunning. He looks like a doll with porcelain skin. You're right. I tried to help him up, but he slapped my hand away. I'm fine. Hmm? Wait, what is this smell? He moved a little closer to me. Is that from you? Yes, it's Uday Screw You. <laughs> oh, what smell? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what you mean. 
that I noticed that his arm was scratched. Oh, wait, you're hurt. Uh, what? Huh? Leave me be. I tore a small piece from my shirt as I didn't have any bandages or handkerchiefs with me. What, what are you doing? Sorry, I don't have any bandages, so I stuff like that now. It's better to bandage the wound just in case and disinfect later. Hey, I said there's no need for that. <sighs> this smell. Uh, you literally just met me, Enox. <gasps> like, are you really going to be a creep right now? His face flushed and he covered his nose and mouth with his hand. Oh my, could that be my odor? Sorry, won't take long. I'm focused on bandaging his wound and didn't notice a bulge in his pa Enox! Enox, we're in public right now. It's kind of hot though. But anyway, here we go. Yeah, I'll go buy some antiseptic from a drugstore nearby. Uh, get off! Don't come any closer! Whoa! He slapped my hand away, stood up, and quickly ran off. Wait! Police! Well, sir! He quickly disappeared behind the alley as something fell off of him. What's this? It's a handkerchief and a card. Enox, the chemist. This should be his business card. I should call later and give him back the handkerchief. I guess I made him feel uncomfortable. I have to apologize next time we meet. He's a bit strange though. Why does his face turn so... You literally notice his bulge! What kind of ace detective am I? Do I really smell that off? Ah, fine. Let's go buy my stuff. Thank you for shopping with us. The navigation guided me to the large supermarket nearest to the office, which was even bigger than I expected. Just like the boss said, this town is developed like a city. The facilities are convenient, and the stores offer a wide range of goods. At first, I thought it was a remote town in the countryside. After all, I've heard of this town before. Alright, got everything I need. It's still early, so I can do some walking around. Smack. A little girl bumped into me, and a father holding her hand stopped with her. I'm sorry, ma'am. It's okay. I picked up the teddy bear from the ground. Is this yours? The little girl looked like she was about to cry and hesitated for a few seconds before taking the bear. Huh? Come on, let's go already. The little girl's father pulled her impatiently, as if he was in a hurry to leave. Something off about this man. Although you shouldn't judge a person by appearance, this pair of father and daughter gave me a weird feeling. The little girl suddenly pulled on my sleeve and wouldn't let go. Something was wrong. Let's go! Wait a moment. Are you the father of this girl? The man turned around to look at me and stunned for a second. What's your problem? Sure, I'm her father. Is that true? You're not my dad! As if she found a savior. The little girl who was silent before suddenly shouted, Hey, Brad, what'd you say? Gah! Did you bite me? You freaking kid! Gah! Immediately grabbed the man's wrist and twisted it with all my strength. It hurts! The man quickly released the child because of sudden pain, and the little girl quickly hid behind me. You, you're a kidnapper. Gah! Damn it! Don't even try, or I'll break your arm! I've been more or less trained as a detective, so I can deal with emergency situations. The skill comes in handy now. You don't think I won't fight back. Even though I had both his hands suppressed, the man took a knife out of his cuff. I almost got cut in the face, but I dodged by instinct. You know, I didn't expect he had a weapon on him. Whoa! I stepped back while protecting the child, and a crowd began to gather nearby, but no one dared to come close. I almost made it. Why did you have to get in my way? You got a nerve to say that, you damn kidnapper. This kid. Huh? The child behind me ran away when I did notice, and the kidnapper immediately shifted his target. I told you to stop crying! Watch out! Immediately hugged the child tightly in my arms and prepared to be stabbed by the kidnapper. Did I just get Isekai'd? kind? Huh? Why did I get hurt? An unknown sphere object hit the man's head. Then he fell to the ground. The fallen man was covered with something red, which looked disgusting. No way. Did he get his head smashed in? Wait, are these watermelon seeds? I took a closer look and found that the man was only passed out. <sighs> what a waste. I hope Mrs. Josie won't blame me for that. Hi, Luke. Why do you sound so hot? I was planning to make shaved ice with it. A tall man jumped down from somewhere high. Kidnapping a child in broad daylight, huh? 
The dictionary should update the page of foolhardy with your name on it. The black-haired man took out handcuffs from his pocket and locked the hands of the man. Investigator Luke! Oh, Tom, he came just in time. This guy's a kidnapper, plus harming people with intention. Investigator Luke, you didn't knock his head with a watermelon, did you? What's the problem? He didn't even deserve a watermelon. But if you're dealing with criminals like this every time... So what? You got a problem with that? It's not the first time this guy's done this. Who on earth let him escape? He said it with a smile on his face. But there was a fierce anger in his gaze. Don't let me see him again. Understood. Uh, I'll take him back now. The officer, who named Tom, dragged the unconscious man to the ground and glanced at me before leaving. Ah, <sighs> for God's sake. Oh? Ah, he's hot! Oh my God! Are you all right? Uh, I I'm okay. I'm okay. Don't 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 mind me. I'm 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 just staring. I I'm not staring. I'm not staring. The black-haired man bent down with a smile and reached out his hand towards me. I'm fine. Thank you. That look on his face. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh okay. Hi. Oh oh. Uh, a subtle fragrance lingered when he moved, with a charming face under his curly black hair. His shirt clung to his well-built body, showing the contours of his muscular frame. If I hadn't had the conversation just now, I'd have mistaken him for a celebrity. A new face. Hi. I just moved in here today. I'm lying, and I'll open a detective agency nearby. So, you're Miss Detective, huh? <laughs> no wonder you have such good insight. Well, I have to admit, you got good skills, though. You look like a little bunny. Ah, oh, thank you. Little bunny! Hi there. Name's Luke. I've got dispatched here from the city as an investigator. I moved here just three months ago. An investigator? Something happening here. Oh? He showed a hint of surprise first, then narrowed his eyes as if something aroused his interest. <laughs> Who knows? Anything can happen here. Did you have to whisper that into my ear? This ambiguous response only makes him more suspicious. I like the look in your eyes. Thank, 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 you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, ah, ah! Thank you. Oh God, what? Your eyes sparkle with curiosity. May I have your hand? Uh, before I could react, he had already grabbed my hand. Here's my phone number. Just call me if you need anything. I've got plenty of time. I might share something interesting with you. You mean like two other hot dudes, which I probably or may or may have not have bumped into earlier today? Sure, sure, why not? I'll give you my card too. Oh? Ah, I didn't bring any business cards with me. Uh, wait a sec. The guy I received from my pocket wrote my name and contact information on it. Sorry, didn't have my car with me. This is the only thing I can give you. Feel free to make a request if there's anything I can help with. He took the receipt from my hand and chuckled. <laughs> it's cute. Thanks, I'll keep it. See you next time, little bunny. I looked at a man's shadow with confusion. It was a bit strange, but I could tell that he was definitely not an ordinary man. It's just... How on earth do I look like a little bunny? Hmm. Ah, <sighs> what a long day. I didn't expect to help catch a kidnapper on the first day. It was a close call. I patted my pockets and found something that didn't belong to me. Oh, it's the handkerchief and card that the man in white robes dropped this morning. It's still early. I should call and ask him about it. The phone rang for a long time, but nobody answered. Just as I was about to give up, someone picked up the phone. Who is it? Uh, hey, my name's Lion. The person who bumped into you this morning. Hmm. Huh? You... Uh, how do you know my phone number? Uh, sorry, it's because you dropped me business card and handkerchief. It's, it's, it's not like I've been asking around town for your number or something, Mr. Enox. I wanted to give them back to you. When would it be convenient for you? I can come find you. I don't want any more. Just drop it. Ha, uh, that... Plunk. What the? What's wrong with him? It doesn't have to be so rude. Enox on the other side. Plunk. What's wrong with her? She doesn't have to call in so suddenly. The man hung up the phone angrily. The table in front of him was full of unknown, um, chemicals. Damn it! 
None of these tranquilizers work. Why? He looked out at the bulging part of his lower body. <laughs> Are you trying to sedate? Are you trying to sedate it right now? Are you just like jabbing tranquilizer after tranquilizer down there, hoping it will go down? Enox, what the frick? The voice of that woman reminded him of that scent. This was the first time Enox met someone who smelled so sweet. Usually, all people smelled nauseating to Enox, but he smelled change with their emotions. It was always an unpleasant smell. <sighs> who was that woman today? Only the woman of your dreams, Enox. Uh, these pants are too tight. Whip them off! Whip them off, Enox! Damn it! I've never experienced something like this in my life. <gasps> what? You, you, you mean a goddamn hard on? Jeez, man. Like, you really need to get out more. Such humiliation. That woman. I must kill her. I mean, Agnes is not the only way you can have me. But sure, sure, whatever. I opened the commission document and says I want to take a good look. Though I had already read it several times before. Ah. Commission content, commission fee, signature of the client, commission content. Please head to Usador Town and investigate the strange events happening in the area. The investigation period will be four months, which may extend depending on the situation. Additional commission fees will be paid. That's all. So suspicious that normally we won't even read it. I did encounter some strange people and a kidnapper today, but I wouldn't say the town is strange. Well, except for the investigator named Luke. It's obvious that he's not no, an ordinary investigator, and what he said is intriguing. Could he be here for something special too? Commission fee. 500, that, that's, that, that's a six digit, that's six digit, you, you said seven, that is six. God damn it, Clark, did you lie to me again? The most eye-catching part of the entire document is this terrifying amount. If I wasn't already paid, it'd definitely be a scam. This amount alone is enough for the detective agency to operate for years. But that said, what kind of investigation requires this amount of money? Why couldn't they provide more details when they're willing to pay so much? And Clark's been acting strange. He wouldn't accept such a mysterious commission normally, even he loves money. Could he be threatened? Signature of the client. The signature field didn't contain a full name. Only the letter W was written in ballpoint pen. W. Could be some kind of code or title. It may even be an organization itself, an individual. Could it be William? Is it William Afton? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, of course. Why do I have to insert Five Nights at Freddy's in just about anything I've been playing lately? I don't know. I don't know. I blame it on chat. Like, heck, you all have been asking me to play more Freddy. And no, I might play more FNAF soon. Who knows? For now, the only thing I can do is paying special attention to people and things starting with the letter W. And I'll take the read. Yeah. <sighs> feel like I'm in a fog. Why Why hasn't Clark returned my calls though? He read my messages, but he never replied. Although he often disappears like this, this is the first time I have been away on a business trip for so long. It's heartless of him. Damn, an old man. How dare he treat me like his daughter. I turned around and looked at a photo on the table. It was a photo of Clark and me on the first day of work. Back in those days, I was still a rookie who knew nothing but arguing with my supervisor all the time. To be honest, if Clark didn't take me in, I wouldn't be a detective. That didn't happen. That was little. My family got involved in the serial murder case. The little lion suddenly became alone in the world. At that time, Clark was assisting the police with their investigation. They took me in and provided me education while training me to be a detective. The murderer died at the scene. I still vividly remember what happened back then. Ah, <sighs> I'm thinking about it again. When will I get over this? Murder is already dead. The case was solved. I'm an experienced detective now. It can't be weak like this. I should do some research about this town today and start investigating tomorrow. The glass behind me suddenly shattered with a loud bang. That was so loud at such a close range that it nearly pierced my eardrums. I turned around and saw that one of the windows in the room had been broken by something. What? This is when I was wondering if anything strange could happen in this town. In the next moment, I got ambushed. Immediately saw a stone fall on the ground along with the fragments of the window. Who would pull such a prank? I picked up the stone and noticed it had some words carved into it. Come down. The answers you seek are here. 
W. W? What? It was the same signature as the client. I knew it might not be the same person, but was too coincidental. In any case, this person knows why I'm here and this town's secrets. They could have a... Uh, they could have chose a better way to inform me, though. How am I gonna explain to Dane that the window was broken on the first day I moved in? Come down was written on the stone. Was the client waiting for me downstairs? A detective intuition told me that it would be extremely dangerous to go downstairs. Nah, even a fool would know it's dangerous. But I knew I shouldn't go. I knew it was dangerous. It might even be a trap. But my body was driven by an overwhelming impulse. What kind of detective would I be if I was afraid of such things? But this is a rare opportunity. Let me thoroughly investigate what strange things are going on in this town. I came to the alley below the window. But there was no one here. The night breeze gently blew on my face. I'm here. Show yourself. No one answered. Listen, I don't want to play hide and seek with you. If you want to get things done quickly, come out and talk. So stupid. What was I expecting? Huh? Who's there? I walked towards the source of the sound, which was another alley not far from here. It was very dark in the alley, so I turned on the flashlight on my phone. I found someone lying in the middle of the road. I carefully stepped closer. The only sound I could hear was my heartbeat in silence. Excuse me. I had a very bad feeling. Huh? Sure enough. That someone was lying on the ground was a dead body. And the heart was ripped at- Huh. Gasp! My legs immediately trembled with shock. I had to steady myself against the wall nearby. If it were just an ordinary corpse, I wouldn't be this panicked. But, can't be. It's the same as that time. No, the murderer back then was already dead on the spot. But why? Is it a copycat? No, this is exactly the same as that time. The scene in front of me and memories kept alternating and I fell into endless panic and fear. Damn it. I still haven't healed from my PTSD? Uh, no. I couldn't help but pant heavily and my head throbbed in pain. Footsteps. Just as I was about to pass out, the sound of footsteps from behind pulled me back to sanity. Who is it? Client? Is it the murderer? Footsteps were getting closer and closer. No, if it's the murderer, I wouldn't be able to fight back now. If you have a weapon, I'll be in a dead end. I only got one choice. Run! Uh, main road? Phone call? Apartment? Uh, Luke! Luke is hot! I'm gonna make a phone call! Main road? To the guy who's gonna kill me? To back to the apartment? To the guy who apparently knows me? The mysterious detective, Luke! My body was almost paralyzed with fear. I should find a place to hide first. In a state of nervous breakdown, I tried my best to find a hiding place. I find a large wooden crate at the corner. It's dark here. No one shall notice me if I cover myself with a cloth here. I can only have my fingers crossed that a person chasing me doesn't have good eyesight. I hid inside, but my body was still trembling. I need to find a rescue. I opened my phone, and the first thing I saw was Luke's number. That investigator seems to know something. He should be the right one to call, and he's smarter than an ordinary police officer. I was going to send him a message, but my hands were shaking so badly I couldn't even type out a single word. Damn it. Stop shaking. However, my body didn't listen, so I had no choice but to simply send my coordinates. I hope it gets the meaning. I sat like having ants in my pants, each second feeling like an eternity. Then I heard footsteps again. <sighs> no, murderer found me already. The footsteps were getting closer. Please, don't. The lid over my head was lifted, and a bright light came into view. Little bunny? Yeah! Luke! What are you doing here? It's you. Thank God. Anyway, come out first. He carried me out of the crate as if holding a small animal. He seemed to notice my condition and kept holding me. You know what? I was so excited when I received your message, thinking that you already missed me. But I didn't expect the first message I received was the coordinates. Yeah. Yeah, I know. You found a dead body, right? I saw it when I came and immediately called for help. Don't be afraid. 
The police are already here and investigating the scene. What about the murderer? The murderer? I'm not sure, but someone was chasing me just now. Nope. We didn't see anyone suspicious around. All right. You don't look all right. You were much more vivacious this morning. He gently brushed my face. You feel so cold. Oh, poor bunny. He must have been really scared. The person you mentioned didn't do anything to you, right? No. But the dead body on the ground. Hmm? It was the same as that time. The heart was ripped out. But the murderer had already... Little bunny? Why? Just why? I began to sniffle once again as I thought of that corpse. Ah, uh, no. I don't want that kind of thing to happen. It, huh? Suddenly, Luke pulled me in and sealed my lips. But Cut it fast, fam! He stuck his teasing tongue into my lips and took my attention away. <laughs> my once cold body had somehow regained its warmth. He kissed me with a poker face and responded with reciprocation without really thinking. He kissed for a while, and then finally released me. So, did you calm down now? Uh, should I report that for salt? Please, take my apologies. That's the only way I could think of. If that doesn't work, I have another advanced option. I am- uh, There's a murderer on the loose and you, you're thinking with your- Luke, what the hell? No thank you. <laughs> it seems you have your sanity back. Well, what you saw earlier, leave that to me. It's too dangerous, even though you're a detective. But what if he's actually connected to that incident in the past? What if he's actually the murderer? What do I do then? N no way. I must find out who this guy is. I won't forgive him for doing such cruel things. There, there's something I must ask him in person. But you were so scared just now. Do you think you can do it? He said, while well, wiping away my tears with his hands. I'll get over it. I'll definitely get him next time. I don't want to live like this for the rest of my life. Hmm. <laughs> I didn't expect Little Bunny to have such determination. All right. Wait for my good news then. We'll take that guy together, okay? Because it'd be fun to watch you crying while catching the murderer. <laughs> uh, wait, what? I won't cry anymore. <laughs> I'll take you home. You should take a good rest. What? Back in the woods? Digging sound. Oh well, oh well. <laughs> For God's sake. Why the troubles keep coming? To be honest, I don't really enjoy doing these things. But since little bunny came, <laughs> these things finally come with a meaning. Things are getting interesting. How will this town end up being? <laughs> Never thought you would choose me. Since you came knocking on the wolf's door yourself, I can't let you go easily, little bunny. Huh? I stumbled back into the apartment and found Dane standing at the door with a serious face. You're back. Oh, Dane! <clears throat> Are you waiting for me? Mm. I was worried about you. I heard glass shattering just now, so I rushed to check what happened. But then I found that you weren't here. Uh, you aren't gonna comment about the window? Sorry, should've told you first. Don't do that next time. Are you hurt? Let me check. <sighs> Thank goodness. There's nothing I need to worry about, perhaps. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. I'm just glad you're okay. I'll fix the window in your room tomorrow. Fortunately, we have glass in the storage room. Huh? But... I'm your landlord. It's my job to fix it. I'll help then. I can't let you do it by yourself. It's fine. It's nothing. You may sleep at my place tonight. I have a spare room available. No, uh, no, nah, I'm fine, I'm fine. Like, don't worry about it. I'm sorry. I'm causing you trouble on the first day. It's not your fault, silly head. He gently stroked my head. And the warmth of his hand brought me comfort. I just hope that next time, no matter what happens, you'll think of me first. But not... Alright, you should go get some rest. The room is on the third floor. There's a private bathroom and toilet inside. Make yourself at home. 
I'll go and make some tea. Let's have it together later. Okay. Thank you. Dean had already prepared the room for me, and I caught a faint whiff of comforting fragrance as I walked inside. Although he seems overly kind to me as a landlord, I'm still very grateful to him. Maybe he's just being nice to everyone. I laid on the fluffy bed, feeling extremely tired. I drank the tea Dane brewed for me while I think about what just happened. What's going on in this town? What's that corpse? Is this just a coincidence? Although I still haven't recovered from the shock, I couldn't stop myself thinking about it. Nah, maybe I should read the documents again. Huh? Wait, why do I suddenly feel so tired? My vision became blurry. It's... the tea. Nah, maybe I'm just exhausted. Ugh. I gradually fell into sleep, and all the things happened today felt like a dream. But indeed, it was just the very beginning of everything. I was completely unaware that something was already happening in this town. I had no idea about the true intentions of the people approaching me. Most of all, I could imagine that all of this has to do with me. To be continued. Anyway, that was Hard Cage. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this game for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. And yeah, I will be back once Hard Cage has a full release. I am going to be going down Luke's route. Um, and if you guys do want to like check out what the other routes are like, hey, like again, the game's down there. Just check it out. It's down there. Anyway, thank you all so much for coming. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day. And as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.